guys, it's half I am back in and this is gonna be a haul. Um, there will be a couple of hauls on my channel in the next week or so. Um, recently, uh, Priceline in Australia, which is probably like Ulta in America, I guess. Not quite Sephora. We have Sephora. It's not quite Sephora. Um, but basically it's more like a drug story, but some of the stuff's a bit more expensive. But then in Australia, drug store is expensive. Anyway, they were having uh, this thing, it's, uh, I think it was for about a week, where if you spent $60 in one transaction on specific brands, it was specific brands, some people do get caught by that, you got this gift bag which is valued at over $150 um, and it has some interesting stuff in it um, you get a choice of two different bags there was this one which is kind of pale teal and there was a black one and the hubby said get the black one and the son said no get the other one you have too much dark stuff I thought that was funny um, anyway so the things that I bought in order to get the uh, bag. The, they're mostly a couple of Australis, a couple of NYX, and um, a Rimmel. So from NYX, I got the matte finish spray. Haven't tried it out. Don't know what it's like. Don't know if I like it or not. I'm testing out a whole bunch of different finishing sprays at the moment. The other thing I got from NYX, which I actually got two paddles that are very, very similar. But I wanted to try them both out. It was um, the NYX HD Photogenic Finishing Powder. Um, I've come to realise I prefer using a white powder underneath my eyes because I'm so pale. Um, and banana powder does not work for me. It, <laughs> it just looks really bad. Um, and other finishing powders, even when they call themselves translucent, tend to have colour to them and it just darkens up under my eye and tends to not look very good. Um, so I used this today. So far so good. I'm actually, it's actually pretty nice. And it set the concealer pretty good. So yeah. Um, so I got that one. And also from NYX, I got the NYX Cosmetic Metals in... I can't remember the name again. Uh, Asteroid Aura, which is a, I'm actually wearing it, sort of ombre with Alien from NYX, which I'd bought previously. Um, it's a metallic purple. So pretty. Come on, focus. So pretty. Yeah. So I got those. And then from Astralis, I thought I would try their See You Later Pores, which is a like a spot primer, um, supposed to minimise the appearance of pores and imper imperfections. Um, Non-greasy and moisturising, apparently. I have quite obvious pores through this region in particular, which so I've been trying to find a um, primer that works well for that. And I also bought from Australis their Ready Set Go Finishing Powder, which again is a white powder. It says True Translucent, which, yeah, it's white. Hello. Um, I had never really understood this idea of translucent powders being um, particularly yellow in kind of tone. Almost all the other translucent powders I've got, I've got colour to them, which makes them not translucent, especially when you're like white. Uh, yeah, so I haven't actually tried this one, haven't opened it yet, but it will be another one that mainly for setting it underneath my eyes. But I don't mind setting all over with a powder like that, and I'm aware that there's a flashback issue with white powders, but I don't tend to use flash a lot, so I'm not really too worried about it. And the last thing I got in order to get the bag was the Rimmel Brow This Way Brow Styling Gel with Argan Oil been buying a few of these recently, haven't actually tried any of them yet. Um, so this one has a, I got it in blonde. Um, they only have two colours that I'm aware of, blonde and brown. Well that's what it looked like um, in the store. Because uh, my eyebrows are naturally not very dark. So I've no idea what it's like because I haven't tried it out yet. 
So on to what is actually in this bag. Um, I did spend more than the $60. However, I didn't actually spend $60 because I had on me when I was shopping, I had uh, $60 worth of, uh, no, $70 worth of gift cards and I had uh, money that I'd been given for my birthday from another family member. So I uh, didn't pay anything. So that was a good shopping trip. Uh, so the first thing that is in here is from Eco Tools, and it is a scrubby thing. I'm pretty sure that last time I got this, like I pretty much do it every year, um, I got a scrubby which is currently in my shower because it's like purple. Um, I don't mind Eco Tools scrubbies; they're like quite good. I like Eco Tools actually. I've got a lot of their tools. So there you go. Um, okay. So also in here. Um, I have two files. One is from Revlon, which has like lotuses on it. And the other one is from Manicare. I didn't realize there was two of them in there. Oh, okay. Uh, from Look Good, Feel Better is a blending brush. Angled blending brush. I mean, you can never have too many brushes, can you? Says so a person who has too many brushes. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, well, it feels quite soft. Seems like a nice soft brush. Um, I've never tried their brushes before, so I have no idea. But you see, it's slightly angled. Very slightly angled. Okay. From Savvy, we have this double-ended pencil. On this end, there's a clear wax with a little brushy thing underneath it. And on this end, there is um, a colour. <laughs> Unfortunately, this is in dark. Um, which is not going to be a whole lot of use for my brows unless I decide for some reason to do like black brows. But the wax might be useful. Um, or I might pass it on to somebody else who has dark eyebrows on me. Then we got from Models Prefer a lip balm in cream caramel, apparently. It's like those EOS lip balms that are so popular in some places. Um, I don't know that they're like the best shape and they seem to have a lot of wastage in them to me. Not that I really used them, but it doesn't really smell like cream caramel, but I will try it and I will see what it is like. Can always use lip balms. Then we have from um, Baby Lips. This is a balm and blush. I've seen these, but I've never grabbed one. This one is in Shimmering Bronze. So I guess you can use it like as a lip balm or as a cream bronzer. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's not going to... It's just going to be... I think it's probably just going to be... Oh no, it's not too sticky. Um, yeah, I suppose you could get yourself a little bit of a glow going on with that. Because it's not too dark or anything. So, yeah, that's interesting. I haven't tried it. I haven't seen it. The container is really interesting. But that's one of the reasons I get these is because I often wouldn't actually um, try these products in it otherwise. Uh, from Rimmel, we got a scandalized, reloaded, extreme volume uh, mascara in black. I'm not going to open it because I have too many mascaras open at the moment. From Nude by Nature, we got this Soft Focus Illuminator. If it's safety, uh, safety said, I'm not going to open it because I have other illuminators open. Um, hopefully it's not too dark. Sometimes illuminators are a little bit too dark. But this is apparently like a really, really good brand. So, but I haven't actually, I think I have a couple of other products for them, but I don't really reach for them. Um, and the last face type product is from Australis and this is the 
High Life Illuminating Strobe Powder in Glimmer. Right. Looks like that. If my camera would focus on it. Okay. Hmm. It's kind of pretty. So, yeah, it's kind of like a almost like a rose gold kind of colour, like a light rose gold. So that's that's interesting. Be fun to play with that one. And then there are three lip products to round out what is actually in here. The first one is from Revlon. It is a balm stain. This one is in um, so whilst like the in like the the contents are basically the same in all of the bags. Um, there's, you know, sometimes differences in uh, which colour you would actually get. Um, most of the time I do pretty well at getting colours that I will actually use, but every now and then you... I hate the packaging on these Revlon balm stands. Because I can never get into them. <laughs> I have to, like, rip them off. Okay, so this colour looks a lot darker inside than it did on the outside. This is in Honey Deuce, or just Honey, I don't know, maybe the second word is just in a foreign language, just to confuse me. Um, it's actually not a bad colour, is that right there? Sort of like the kind of colour I'd wear around the house. Or if I was doing like a really, really intense eye, I might go for something like that. It's not too... I don't think it's really going to show up too much. I think my natural lip colour is pretty much the same. Um, the thing I'm noticing is that most of the stuff I've got in here is like nude coloured. <laughs> Which I suppose they do because they don't want to upset people by putting in like bright pink or purple. Not that that would upset me at all. <laughs> That'd actually make me quite happy. Um, so the next one does not want to open these packagings that they put on them. Um, if you've been on my channel for a little while, you know that I'm kind of package challenged. I have difficulty getting into things sometimes, which is why I have a craft knife sitting on my table. And that's still not helping. <laughs> This is from NYX. This is the Turnt Up Lipstick, which I hate that word actually. I think it's really stupid. Uh, but that's just that's my personal opinion. So this is the Turnt Up in 21. I don't think it's actually got a name. It's just, oh, Mirage. So it looks like a nude very much like a node. Oh, come on, I guess there we go. Um, wow. Conceal a lip, anyone? <laughs> that's pretty much what that's going to be. However, whilst it is stupidly light, probably way too light for me, um, it's the kind of thing I could mix with something that's darker and make it a little bit more wearable. And the last thing is from Models Prefer, um, and this is a lip lacquer in hot sand, um, which, guess what, it's a nude. I have not tried any Models Prefer lip lacquers at all. Ugh. Um, yeah, that's not a lip lacquer, that's a lip gloss, and it's sticky as shit. <laughs> Actually goes quite well with turn up is that there. Mark. Do you see? Do you see that? Can you see that? Yeah. 
<laughs> that is uh, sticky. Sticky, sticky, sticky. Why do they call it a lip lacquer? That's, it's a lip gloss and it's kind of sticky. Hmm. I mean, the metallic metals one is kind of sticky, but it doesn't say that it's not like a lip lacquer. Anyway, um, so that was everything that I bought and everything that was in the um, gift bag with purchase. I'm not sure whether it is still going and probably won't be by the time I put this video up. Um, yeah, so if you want to subscribe, click the button down there, leave me a thumbs up if you like all type videos and leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments and I'll see you in my next video. See ya!